Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today we're going to have a different type of story time. Someone actually wrote in to me, so I'm going to go ahead and read their actual letter, and then I'm going to give you my opinion. Stay tuned. So today's story time is coming from one of our very own members of Team I Love Me, Me, Me. So at the end of the video, make sure that you give her some comments in the comment section below because she is really... Um, at a crossroads right now so without further ado here it is so to sum it up she met this guy online about three years ago they used to tech and they used to text and talk on the phone occasionally they did they then lost contact because she was still dealing with her ex on and off uh, her and the current guy just started um, hanging out in January of this year they were not a couple but they were doing things he has two children possible three but he doesn't know if the third child is his because the woman will not give him a paternity test he works with his uncle who owns a company he goes to work only two to three days a week which upsets her um, because she goes to work daily okay he doesn't have a car no license due to it being suspended and him being in jail and an other situation that actually happened. He lives with his aunt, but he's really been over her place for the last three months. She knows that it sounds a little bit crazy, but she really cares for him and wants this to work out. But the job situation is really what's getting her down. He does things for her, nothing extravagant, those are her words, but she's grateful for anything that she can get from someone. She wants to eventually move in together and find a different place, but she really doesn't know what to do. And then, as she said, this is a quick summary. So I actually asked her a several follow-up questions because that was not enough information for me to give her an actual um, an answer basically I wanted to hear a little bit more so I asked her some more questions and she further emailed me back and says that they actually are a couple since March so they started off in January they became a couple in March um, they really do not go on dates they only go on movie dates since it's only when he has money um, she wants to work things out with him because she does like him and she sees the potential in him, but he is lazy in some aspects. He has and he has and he has good and not so good qualities, which she understands that everybody does. She's not trying to get pregnant at this moment. I asked her that because we were um, going back and forth and I wanted to clarify if she was trying to get pregnant or not. So she was saying that she's not trying to get pregnant at this point, but she would like to have a child by 35. But of course, she never knows when she's going to have a child. Um, she just doesn't like his current work situation. Again, he works for his uncle, only goes to work two to three days a week. Uh, and sometimes the uncle is actually sick. So if the uncle is sick then the guy doesn't go to work which is her boyfriend again not making as much money uh, is stressing her out because she doesn't want to break things off but there are some days she can't she feels like she can't do it anymore so if there's any more questions let her know so all right this is a recipe for a disaster system absolutely a recipe for disaster uh, I can't tell you what to do but I'm gonna give you my two cents like you have to really pray about your situation and and do what you feel is best for you. But if it were me, I'm going to give you the advice that I would give my little sister, my cousin, my best friend, my even my mama. Like this is the advice I would give them. Run for the damn hills. Uh, pass go or what they say, don't pass go, collect $200 or pass go and collect 200 Girl, get your ass up out of there. Cannot be no more blunt than that. First of all, he ain't got a license. Suspend it. I'm not even knocking the jail portion because some people can go to jail and get their stuff together. He just don't sound like he's at that point right now. This, this brother right here don't sound like he's at that point of getting his stuff together. Uh, he ain't got a license. Living with his auntie. Uh, <laughs> honey, he don't even know if his third child is actually his. You want a child. He only go to work two to, two to three days a week. You go every single day. There's The money issue is already an issue right now. This is what's stressing you out. Why are you taking yourself down this road of destruction? Don't do it. I mean, this is what you need to do. Back away. Real quick. Real quick. And then when you see the closest clear, that's what you need to do. You need to get on. He is only going to bring you down, my sister. Uh, it sounds like he is pretty much a little bit of a leech at this point and you are the one who is carrying the relationship you don't want to do that you don't want to do it for yourself you don't even want to do it for him 
you're looking for a child, but he already sounds like he is your child. He's not even on your lease, but he's been living there for three months. He technically lives with his aunts, but he's been living there with you. You want to move in with a, you want to move into another place with him, but he ain't bringing nothing to the table, my sister. Nothing but drama. You are stressed out because he won't get up and work. I mean, everybody know that you only eat if you work. He ain't doing that. He is showing you the laziness that he already has in the beginning. So now just imagine you guys move in together. This is the life that you are setting yourself up for because later on you can never go to him and say, when you going to get up and find a job? When you going to get up and do X, Y, and Z? Because this is how you accepted him right now. You care for him. That don't, you, you never did once say that you love him. You said, I care for him. I care for a lot of people. I don't live with him. I don't take care of him. Run, my sister. He is a tiger that is showing you all of his stripes right now. There is no guesswork here. I get it. You don't want to be single. You hoping things work out. But he is not showing you that he is the man for you. He's not showing you that he is. Your heart is heavy. It's strong. It's a pull on it because this is God or your common sense or the universe telling you to get the hell on. Don't do it to yourself. You are foreseeing your future right now, right before your very eyes. And if you do go forward with this, especially have a child with him, even decide to get married with him and definitely move into the move into a place with him. Basically, that's next level stuff. You will be taking care of a child right now. Is that what you really want to do? Again, you need to break your ties, break free as fast as possible. He will do nothing but continue to bring you down, my love. You don't want that. You don't need that. That's not what you deserve. So don't sign up for it. Don't make it any more permanent than it needs to be. If, he's, if you guys are still only just staying in your place together, you need to slowly but surely let him understand Especially if he's a bit psycho. I don't know if he is or if he is not. Like, is he mentally stable? You didn't mention that. But if he is not, you need to find a reason to slowly but surely get him out of your place. So you can move on with life. If he is mentally stable, then you tell him to get his ish and get on. Now, what do you guys think? Did I tell her the truth? Did I give her bad information? Because she needs some help. She's at a crossroads. On the outside looking in, it always looks as clear as day. To me, this is a recipe for disaster. Nothing good is going to come from this situation for her. He's the only one that's benefiting from every situation. He could go live with his aunt or he can stay with you. He can go work for the uncle. He don't have to work because everything, all of his needs are still being taken care of. So let her know. Let her know down in the comment section below because she needs to read some information. Don't dog her out. Just give her some positivity. Uplift the sister. Give her the advice that you would give your friend, your sister, your mother, your brother, your, anybody that you love and care about. I thank you guys for listening. Definitely give me thumbs up. This is a video that you would love to see more of. Of course, hit the subscribe button if this is your very first time here. My heart is heavy for your sister. Yeah. I'll see y'all soon. Two finger salute.